In today's video, we're going to be unboxing and assembling an Amscope SE400 series microscope. Now, the assembly procedure is exactly the same whether you buy an SE400X, Y, or Z. The only critical difference between these three microscopes is the eyepiece magnification. So what I'm going to do is get all the parts out of the box, lay it out, and then we're going to start assembling it. So let's see what we get with the unit. I've taken all the parts out of the box. You have the power cable. Very important. You have the microscope's base itself, which is a pretty heavy base. And this already comes pre-assembled. I didn't do any assembly on it. It has the gooseneck light on it, which we're going to need to illuminate the subject. Very importantly, you have the head of the microscope. You have a little dust cover, which you can open up and use to cover the microscope when you're not using it. You have a locking bolt and handle. This is what we're going to use to connect the microscope head to the base. There's a little wrench. I'm not exactly sure what we're going to use this for, but they've provided it in any case. This set also comes with three different magnifications of eyepieces. I have a pair of 5x magnification eyepieces a set of 20x magnification eyepieces and a set of 10x eyepieces already installed on the microscope head. It also comes with a set of eye cups. And last but not least, they also throw in an extra fuse for the LED unit. So the first step in the process is to test the base out, rather to test the LED light in the base. And it's a good idea to do this check first before assembling the rest of the microscope, just to ensure that the light is working. If it isn't working and you need to get a replacement, and need to ship the whole unit back for some reason. It's always better if it's disassembled. It's much easier. So test your base first. And in order to do this, I'm going to plug the three-prong end of the power cable into the port on the back of the microscope. I've plugged it into a power outlet. And what I'm going to do is just turn it on using the switch in the back. So let me just turn it so you can see it. It actually turned on, so it works. And now that it works, we can move on to the next step. In the next step, we're going to attach the microscope head to the stand. And to do this, we're going to unscrew the bolt that is screwed into the handle. Separate those, grab your microscope head, and then we're going to line up the microscope head's shaft with the shaft on the base. And I know it seems obvious, but you want to make sure that your eyepieces are pointing upwards when you do this, and that the microscope head's shaft lines up on the left-hand side to sort of fill the gap and form a perfect circle here. So you're going to insert the bolt through the shaft on the base, through the shaft on the head, and the bolt has a flat end to it that you can see here. And you're going to line that flat end with that flat cut on the shaft, so make sure it lines up. And with that held in place, insert the handle and screw it onto the bolt and screw it till it tightens up. Don't worry about the angle in which it's aligned. I recommend just leaving it straight or horizontal for now. And obviously you can adjust it if you'd like by just loosening the handle. Now, since the head is attached to the base and the weight of the head is on the base, we're gonna to need to move the stop collar. So you always wanna leave that stop collar in place. And obviously the position of this head is adjustable depending on whatever it is that you're looking at and how much working distance you need. And for the next step, we're going to adjust the tilt angle of the microscope head. And to do this, you're gonna need a screwdriver. This is a medium sized flat screwdriver. And to do this, all you need to do is adjust the screw on top. So grab your flat screwdriver, insert it, turn it counterclockwise till it loosens up and then gently adjust the microscope head to where you think is about level. Obviously, you can use a level if you want to be perfect, but I'm just going to eyeball it for now. And it looks horizontal enough to me. And when you're ready, tighten that screw back up to ensure that the head stays in place. Now on my model, right from the factory, they've already installed a 10X eyepiece. Now this will vary depending on the model you purchased, but I'm gonna install my 5X eyepiece and I'll show you how to change eyepieces out. And I actually prefer the 5X eyepiece for electronics work, which is what I'm gonna be using this for. And to do this, you're gonna need a Phillips head double zero screwdriver. And this is a pretty fine screwdriver. If you don't have one of these, I'll leave a link right below the video, so feel free to check that out. And with that screwdriver, you're going to unscrew the topmost screw, that is the screw that is closest to the eyepiece. So what we're going to do is we're going to unscrew that screw gently. You don't have to remove the whole screw, just a couple of turns, and then the eyepiece will loosen up. 
and we'll pull out. And to install the 5x eyepiece, simply slot it in and make sure that it is flush with the receptacle. Then hold it in place, grab your screwdriver and tighten that screw back up. And we're going to repeat the same process for the other eyepiece as well. So the eyepieces are now installed and I'm just going to put the eye cups in and they just sort of stretch over the end of the eyepiece and stretch it till it sits in that groove on the eyepiece. Let's do the same on the other side. Slot it into that groove on the eyepiece, stretch it over till it sits in that groove. So that completes the basic assembly and setup of the Amscope SE400 series. And if you're looking to buy this series of microscopes, I'll leave a link right below the video. So feel free to check that out. If you'd like to see a more advanced setup video, for a full review of this microscope, please leave me a comment in the comment section below. Hope this video was useful. If it was, please hit that like button and subscribe to stay tuned for more reviews, unboxings, and how-to videos. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one.